chair recognizes Representative Derek Jackson for an invite resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning, House. It is truly an honor and a privilege to recognize one of my constituents. And she's not just a constituent, she is doing phenomenal work. She brought with her her daughter, uh, Marcita Kinlaw, uh, Benjamin Ridgeway, Alexis Bushell, and Dr. Joseph Haig. Uh, Eleanor Kinlaw Ross is a cultural historian. Not only is she a cultural historian, she's an archivist, an author, a writer, producer, is a native of Charleston, South Carolina, where I met my beautiful bride, so I, Charleston has a warm heart, Mr. Speaker, who has lived in Atlanta for over three decades. And she graduated with honors, uh, cum laude, a bachelor's in communication and history from Oglethorpe University. She also has her master's in library and information science with a concentration in archives from Valdosta State University. She celebrates a 27-year career in radio, television, newspaper, where she began her career as a reporter and feature writer and columnist for newspapers, and held a number of positions in marketing for newspapers, radio, and television. She founded the nonprofit organization, the Heritage Project, to produce celebrations on black history and culture and has produced over 120 public programs on the subject. And she has developed exhibits to showcase African-American achievements, such as she led campaign to install historic markers to commemorate the All-Negro all uh, 50, 54th Regiment, which was featured in the movie Glory, who fought in the Civil War. And at the historic W. Gresham Meggett High School, the first school of four African Americans on the isolated Gullah Sea Island. She has curated exhibits for the National Archives, special events at the CNN Center, for history classes in the Atlantic Public School System, and at the Auburn Avenue Research Library on African American history and culture. Her work is countless. She has been supported by Essence Magazine, the American Legacy Magazine, Turner Broadcast Systems, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, and several other affiliates. She also been recognized uh, by Fortune 500 companies such as Coca-Cola, uh, Kmart, Walmart stores, Scana, Energy, BP, Chemicals, and the list goes on. So I'd like to bring before you all Ms. Eleanor Kinlaw, Ross. Thank you, Representative Jackson. From the majestic mountains of North Georgia to its coastal shores, Georgia has a rich and storied history. Yet many of the chapters on the legacy of African American achievement, places, and events are still unwritten and unknown. While they are Georgia native sons and daughters, many are known around the world, yet remain uncelebrated heroes here at home. It is the mission of the Georgia's great exhibit to change the course as it travels across the state to tell the stories and share the pride of the phenomenal history that belongs to all of its citizens. I invite you to host this exhibit in your libraries, in your schools, and in your communities to help educate enlighten and inspire all Georgians to understand the full spectrum of our glorious history. As we strive to teach our children to become citizens of an emerging global society, it is imperative that we first teach them about the history that undergirds the platform of the society into which they were born. It is my honor and privilege to accept this call to action. Thank you. <clears throat> 